Hey, SM, what's a great simple to maintain CTR service for us agencies who want to rank a client? YouTube videos. Also, what's your recommendations besides CTR for YouTube rankings? Um, <laughs> well, for YouTube, that's the only one that I know of for YouTube, honestly, because I don't do a lot of YouTube stuff would be Viper Tools, which is Michael Bose Tools. Uh, Viper Tools has a, but a YouTube um, Viper is what it's called or Video Viper. Um, so that's, that's a pretty good, that's a good one for that. I don't really do a lot of YouTube stuff. Um, so I don't, I, I can't really ex answer that. But what I would suggest with YouTube though, other than just CTR, which again, the only one I know of is Viper tools, um, is buy Google, Google ads for YouTube, right? That's, that's the best in my opinion for YouTube, because it's so dirt cheap to buy traffic for, from Google ads for YouTube. It's incredibly cheap, number one, but you're buying real engagement from real Google users. Does that make sense? So it. That's why I, I, for years, I've been saying that, guys. I use CTR all the time for my agency and for my own lead gen stuff and everything else. I use CTR stuff all the time. But for YouTube specifically, why not just buy the traffic directly from Google? Buy real YouTube users instead of spoofing it through CTR bots. It's very inexpensive. It's easy to set up. And now you're buying real traffic, like from real Google users. So it, it, it's weighted heavier right? Because Google knows those are real Google users, number one. And number two, if you set your audience targeting up, your segments up properly, not that some of that traffic will convert. I mean that. Like if you're doing local, for example, you can set geographic radius targeting uh, so that only people within a specific geographic area are going to even see the ad. So now you're getting clicks from Google users that are in that same geographic area. So that's good for local, number one. But also if you set your audience targeting like your segments up properly. You can set up your own custom segments where you can set, use like search queries and stuff that your the audience that you want Google to create has searched for recently, for example, or you can all, you can select predefined audiences such as in market segments or um, life event segments. These are segments that Google, like predefined audiences that Google has already placed users in because it 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 has determined that they have an interest in something. So like an in-market audience, there's like lawn and garden services, for example, right? An in-market audience. That means those are people that, a, an audience that you can buy access to that Google has already determined are in the market for lawn and garden services, right? So that, again, for tree service stuff, that's a good audience to use. And then you can set layer geographic targeting on top of that to where now all of the clicks, if you were trying to do... YouTube promotions for a tree service contractor, all the clicks are coming from a specific geographic area from users that Google has already determined are interested or in the market for lawn and garden services. Does that make sense? So those, in my opinion, those is, is so much better. That's why I haven't done a lot of CTR stuff with YouTube because anytime I'm trying to optimize for YouTube, I just buy traffic from Google directly. It's very inexpensive. You can set up YouTube campaigns for I'm not kidding. I've got YouTube campaigns that I set up for clients that run on 50 cents a day. That's $15 per month. Think about that. And it works. It works great. So um, engagement. YouTube is almost entirely engagement now, guys. I, I'm, I'm sure that you can still rank stuff by just brute force like backlinks and everything else, but you can rank with zero backlinks on, you, on YouTube. Now to rank a YouTube video on Google, that's different right? It's engagement plus all the kind of traditional SEO signals. But to rank a video on YouTube, there's on-page optimization. So titles, description, and tags. Tags are very, very important. Uh, and then engagement signals. Those are the most important things to rank in YouTube. On-page optimization and engagement signals. That's it. Those two things will rank you in YouTube. Um, outside of YouTube and Google, it's all the traditional stuff, including back uh, engagement signals.